Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Before introducing myself, I would like to thank the great symposium organizers for inviting me and accepting my presentation. I am Gerard Ngo Niwila, a senior lecturer in the University of Cham, and uh, I am also a food scientist at Carbap. Carbap is the African Research Center on Bananas and Plantain, which is also based in Cameroon. So, my presentation is entitled Plantain Traits Preferred by Women and Men in Two Regions of Cameroon. We should recall that bananas and plantain are a staple and cash crop in many regions of the world. Cameroon is ranked fourth after Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Ghana with an annual production of about 2 million tons of plantain. Despite the importance of plantain in the livelihood of Cameroonians, plantain hybrids are still not adopted. And in Cameroon, gender based studies on plantain traits are still in existence. Hence, there is a need to understand how gender influences preferences and prioritization for plantain characteristics in order to create hybrids that will be adopted. A participative survey was carried out within the framework of RTB Food Project in eight rural areas of Cameroon. And the main activities included key informant interviews, gender disaggregated focus group discussion, market interviews, and individual interviews. Results from these studies reveal that men rank plantain first, unlike women who rank it third after maize, beans, or cassava. This ranking show that plantain in these regions are considered as a man's crop. Plantain is ranked first for many reasons, especially because it is easily sold in the market and it is highly profitable. Regarding decision making, decision making is varied. Most men decide on the variety of plantain that will be grown and on the sale of the produced plantain. While women, they decide on how to use the plantain, on how to prepare the plantain, and on how to process the crop in these regions. Regarding high quality characteristics of plantain, we can say that mature plantain fruit is the main high quality characteristic for women. Meanwhile, the dark green color peel is the basic element that helps to characterize high quality plantain for men. Besides, other characteristics like big plantain fruit, the presence of ripe fingers are both considered. For both men and women, for both men and women, immature plantain bunch with colored plantain pulp, soft plantain on touch are considered as essential characteristics for low quality plantain. However, the presence of green leaves at harvest and the absence of black edges on plantain fruits are also essential for men. 
Regarding the sources of planting material, we can say that they come directly from personal farms, even though more than 30% of the women buy their soccer seeds. But we should remind that gifts from relatives and gifts from husbands are also considered as main soccer sources. Finally, to conclude our study, we can say that plantain is mainly grown by men. Women cooked plantain into boiled plantain and other food varieties at household level and in restaurants. Then the sale of plantain bunches uh, is either managed by men or women who decide on how to use the money with their husband. High quality characteristics of plantain are dark green colored plantain peel for men and matured fruit for women. This matured fruit is being characterized by the orange pulp color of the plantain. Meanwhile, low quality plantain is characterized by immature plantain bunch with white color bone. With this, I will thank you for your kind attention. Thank you.